Hey everyone and welcome back. So I have some uh, news and some pickups to do today. I'm gonna do a two for one. They've announced their March title. So I wanna go over those real quick, but I also got in my February order. So I figured like, you know what? I might as well just combine this into one video. So we'll cover the announcements first. So first up is their new VSA title and that is the movie Talons of the Eagle. And this is getting a region free Blu-ray release. And of course, just like the other ones, it'll be uh, in that case <laughs> that I love so well, but it will be limited to 5,000. It's getting a uh, new uh, transfer from the original 35 millimeter camera negative. Have a commentary track with the writer, actor Jalal Merhi, a making of documentary as well as the original trailer. And next up is the movie Reform School Girls, which is also going to be a region free Blu-ray. And that's going to have a new transfer from the 35 millimeter inner positive, an extended making of documentary, as well as uh, interview with producer Alan Eichler, interview with author and critic Brianna Whipple on the life and career of actor Wendy o. Williams, as well as an archival commentary track with writer director Tom DeSimone. I think I'm pronouncing that right. As well as a commentary track with queer film historian Elizabeth Perchel. Video footage from the play Women Behind Bars, as well as the original trailer. And the next up is a double feature uh, release of with the movie Hard Rock Zombies, as well as Slaughterhouse Rock. Now, Slaughterhouse Rock was put out by Code Red on Blu ray uh, a while ago. I'm not sure. Hard Rock Zombies, did that get a release? I can't remember. But they are being put out as a sort of double feature disc. Now it is gonna be a two disc Blu-ray set. Now the only thing I don't know, cause it does not say here, is whether or not it's gonna be region free. I'm gonna assume it might be, but I can't say that for sure. But Hard Rock Zombies is gonna have a uh, new restoration from the 35, from 35 millimeter archival elements, as well as a making of documentary, a featurette with the uh, effects artists, Chris Biggs and Everett Barrett, so it was an interview with actress Suzette Boggs, an interview with author Lucy Hall, and then uh, Slaughterhouse Rock has a new transfer from the original 35mm camera negative, as well as an interview with cinematographer Nicholas Joseph von Sternberg. I think I got that right. As well as an interview with actress Tammy Heiler, interview with actor Nicholas Zalozzi. Oh... Just when I thought I was doing good with names. Interview with actor Al Fleming, as well as the original trailer. And then finally, their 4K release for the month. And it is also going to be a double feature. And this is actually for the movie Schizoid, as well as X-Ray. Now, the interesting thing about this, which I'm kind of wondering, is the fact that Screen Factory had put these two out on Blu-ray. It was, I think, one of their earlier releases, actually. But it was also a double feature for them. So, uh, now, they were directed by different people. So, I don't know whether or not, maybe, maybe it's the same producer for both. And Maybe it's part of a licensing deal. I just think it's funny that it, this is also getting uh, another double feature just like with that release. But again, this is actually going to be 4K. Now, the included Blu-ray is going to be region A locked, though. Just something to keep in mind. But both films are getting new uh, transfers from their original camera negatives. And Schizoid has a couple of new interviews, including a new interview with writer-director David Paulson, interview with actress Donna Wilkes, which is cool. Some of you remember she was the lead in the movie Angel, as well as uh, she was in Jaws 2. New interview with makeup artist Erica Euland, and a new interview with actress Floyd Lawrence. And then X-Ray has a new making of documentary, as well as an archival interview with director Bose Davidson. And then there is a theatrical trailer, but for schizoid only. So definitely some interesting titles for this month. I know a buddy of mine heard that uh, they're going to be releasing the, the original Psycho Cop. Uh, and he was hoping it was going to be this month. I would, so it'd be interesting to see when that, uh, if they are doing it, when that gets announced. I'm guessing it could be May. I could see that being sort of part of their, like, their May titles. Because I know for May, May is one of the months, like, they'll kind of go all out for. So I don't know for sure. That's just speculation on my part. So now getting to the February, uh releases and we'll do the pickups uh, stuff real quick so first up i did order the uh, new slip cover for the movie corruption because i did have the blu-ray release and just there's the front of the slip cover and there's the back and then we'll get to the movies themselves so first up is double feature disc and the side has the movie dragoose which is sort of like a horror adult version and then uh, the other film is, and I may have to cover up some of these. That's for the movie La Bijou d'Amour. Think I got that right? And real quick, here's the uh, inside. There's the front of the Blu-ray, and there is the back. And then the other uh, film, which is actually a 4K release, is the movie Dracula Sucks. And there's the front of the slipcover, and there is the back. And there's just the two discs real quick. The Blu-ray, as well as the brand new uh, 4K release. I know I was going to kind of limit uh, some of the uh, Picarama 
titles, but then, you know, it got both of them this month, but I think because they're both sort of horror related. And yes, that is H-O-R-R-O-R, just in case it sounded like I said something else. And just real quick, there's the front of the inside, and there is the back. Now we get to their regular releases for the month. So first up is the movie, Drop Dead Fred, and there's the front of the subcover, and there's the back, and the inside does have the original uh, poster artwork. As you can see right there, there's the front, and there is the back. I've not seen Drop Dead Fred in a long time. Actually, I don't think I've probably seen it since I was a kid, so it'd be interesting to see if it still holds up. Next up is one, I'm pretty sure I've seen this. I remember really digging it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to revisit it. And that's the movie Sister, Sister, and there's the front of the subcover, and there is the back. And I did flip the inside to the original poster artwork. And there's the front, and there's the back. And this one actually comes with a booklet, which is nice. And if I remember correctly, I think actually the music to this is really good as well. And the next one is actually a trauma release uh, that Vinegar Syndrome is putting out this month. And that is the movie Beware Children at Play. There's a the front of the slipcover. And there is the back. Quite an intense cover for actually for the film. But I did flip the inside. So there's the front of the cover. And there is the back. And then just the inside real quick. Now supposedly uh, there's a 4K restoration being done on Toxic Avenger. Now whether or not that's going to be done with Vinegar Syndrome or not. I don't know. I would love if that was. If you know like an association. Because to, to get Vinegar Syndrome quality of a film like Toxic Avenger would be amazing. And then the final one that I got uh, for last month is the movie Madman. And there's the front of the subcover. And. And there is the back and I did flip around uh, the inside and there's the original poster artwork there's a front and of course there's the back and then real quick ooh turn 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 all right so there's the there's the blu-ray disc and then there's the uh, 4k disc so looking forward to checking this one out in 4k so i know i went through those a little bit quicker than normal but uh, you know i figured there was enough going on in this video as is so definitely wanted to go through everything i also want to actually thank you guys also for some of you mentioned uh about the sinus infection i have it's actually clearing up quite quickly which is good i'm feeling so much better today so i'm hoping by the end of the week it's just gone completely obviously i feel a lot better if, in fact that I'm actually able to do two videos in a row, which is nice. And I actually do have a pickups video that I recorded literally like a week ago, which was supposed to go up uh, over the weekend. So uh, that's actually, we'll be getting to that one. I need to finish editing that one. I'll try and edit around anything where I'm like, yeah, so coming up, I'm gonna, it's like, well, I've, I've already covered this. You know, I think I may have said like, I think my vinegar syndrome order is coming in soon. So I'll try and edit around anything like that, but definitely keep an eye out for that video, uh, hopefully within the next day or two. So again, that's it for this video. Video, definitely let me know your thoughts and as always thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one